Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to talk about the junction box in the PV panels. So if you look at any PV panel, you can see we have the front of the PV panel with its own width and length and of course the thickness of the PV panel. Okay, this is the front of the PV panel. Now if you look behind at the back of the PV panel, you will find here a box, here this box. This box is known as the junction box. Now what does it contain? It contains the positive and negative terminals of the panel. So if you remember that any PV panel, any PV panel has two terminals, positive and negative. We have the two terminals which we are used to connect to another panel or to take the output power. Now if we uh, look at this figure, you can see that here we are using a type of cables called MC4 connectors. The MC4 connectors, which you are seeing here, this, what are they used for? They are used to connect between two panels. Okay. We can uh, connect them together to form a string or uh, in parallel, such as in a combiner box and so on. Okay, so as you can see, we have two terminals, one which is a positive and a negative, and then we start connecting the two panels. So you will find that inside the junction box, there are diodes. Now, what are these diodes? They are the diodes which we discussed before. So we'll find that we have two types of diodes in the PV system. Okay, remember that we talked about the bypass diodes in order to solve the problem of uh, the shading effect. So remember, each part of the panel has a bypass bypass diode. Okay, remember it. Okay, to bypass a panel if it has uh, a problem of shade or has a shading effect okay now you will find that there is another type of diet called the blocking diet now what does this diet do it simply prevents the power flow from the battery to the panels okay so as you know that during the day during the day the panels are supplying electrical power to the battery to charge the batteries okay now at night this panel does not produce any power so if there is no blocking diode here what will happen is that this battery will start giving electrical power to our panels which will lead to burning of the panels okay so we need a type of diode called the blocking diode in order to prevent the power flow from the battery to the panels at night okay so what are the diodes inside the junction box the diodes inside the junction box are one type which is a pi pass diode okay now where are the blocking diodes the blocking diodes exist inside the a charge controller which is used to charge the batteries okay inside it it has the, the uh, blocking diodes okay which prevents the power flow from battery to the panels okay now if we look at the junction box here here this is our junction box okay this part now if we look at it uh, closely here you will see that we have two terminals you can see here positive as you can see positive here and you can see negative so we have positive terminal of the uh, panel or the junction box and the negative terminal of the junction box or the panel itself now if you look at here you will see that we have here the diodes this diode and this one and this one all of these all the three are diodes okay they are connecting between one two and three and four bus bars okay we will see the equivalent circuit of this in the next slide but for now you have to know that the junction box is an enclosure on the module or the PV panel where the PV strings are electrically connected. OK, 
okay you will find that inside um, using this junction box we can connect the bv strings okay since we have here one terminal positive another terminal po negative and we have another panel like this with a positive and a negative terminal so in order to connect them in series we will take this like this positive with negative and then positive with the next negative and so on okay so we will have in the end two terminals as we discussed before okay when we learn it how to connect uh, strings in or panels in series okay so by using the junction box the two terminals we use them using mc4 cables or connectors we can connect between panels in order to form strings it is found it's found on the back of the solar panel it wires usually four connectors together and it is out interface of the solar panels so as you can see here what does this mean you can see four connectors you can see one and two and three and four so this junction box connects between four bus bars now what does this even mean you will understand in the next slide when buying the solar modules we have to look at the ip or the ingress protection of the junction box or it representing the protection two numbers one representing the protection against liquids and the other representing the protection against uh, the uh, mechanical stress so you will find that two number 67 ib 67 is a very high ib or ingress protection this value it means that this junction box is um, well protected against um, water coming from rain for example and protected against the uh, mechanical stress okay now you have to know that most of the photovoltaic uh, junction box have diodes which is uh, uh, as we said before the bypass diodes now the bypass, bypass diodes we said that it is forming as a shunt pass to allow current to bypass the faulty or underperforming module so if there is a fault inside the um, part of the panel or uh, there is um, shading effect it will bypass this uh, panel or this uh, part of this of the panel okay there is another type of diodes which is found where inside the charge controller which we are going to discuss this diode uh, or the blocking diode prevents the current from flowing flowing back from flowing back through the string discharging the battery at night or other times when the solar panels are not working so in the end it prevents the power flow from the batteries to the solar panels okay okay so let's see closely how it looks like so this shape here is similar to this one okay so you can see we have the what is this diet the bypass diet okay now if we look at this figure which we have discussed before you can see we have how many how many diets one two and three right if you look here we have one two and three now you can see that here we have this one and this one each diet takes uh, two rows of uh, the cells okay so one and two and three and four five six six rows okay so we'll find that we have one line here second line um where is the third one we have one here one here and one here and one here okay so if you look carefully here you can see that the first diode first diode connects between two bus bars second diode connects between this bus bar and uh, this bus bar here this die connects between two bus bars so to make it more clear okay if we look we have one two three okay so we have one and two three and four okay so it connects between two bus bars two bus bars or two uh, lines of uh, string a string here here cell strings 
and here two um, strings string here means a string of cells okay so you can see we have one two which is the first part and one two second part here then one two which is a third part okay so this representing the equivalent of this okay and of course as you can see we have two terminals like this this terminal and another terminal here you can see here we have terminal here and another terminal here okay so i hope this uh, configuration is clear for you now so here the same idea you can see we have the bypass diodes here we can say this one is a conducting uh, strip or the one which is uh, related to each string okay so so this type for example has only two diodes which means we have only uh, something like this okay we have a diode like this and another diode like this okay and under them we have group of panels here and group of panels here so it divides the panel into two strings or two lines okay then we have finally the positive terminal and the negative terminal which goes to the charge controller and the battery okay here is the same idea you can see here you can look at here you can see the positive as you can see here this is uh, how it looks like the positive and the negative negative looks like this or male and the female okay here you can see positive and we said before that positive is usually the red one and the negative is always the black one black one is usually related to the ground okay and the positive representing the live part of the electric circuit okay so when wiring module strings together which happens in series uh, positive to negative the voltage is increasing while current stays constant while wiring multiple modules strings together in parallel positive to positive negative to negative current is increasing while the volt stays connect constant okay so if you remember what does this mean if you remember we said that in order to connect in order to form a string what will happen in this case we are connecting the modules in series in series which means that we are connecting positive with negative and the next one we have positive connected to negative and we have positive connected to negative and so on so we are connecting them in series positive to negative like this which increase the total voltage but keeping the current constant and we said that when we have strings and we would like to form an array which is um, group of strings parallel to each other we need to connect positive with positive like this and the negative was negative then we take to this terminal and this terminal to have our panels okay the idea of connecting to positive to positive negative to negative so as if they are or, or not as if they are in parallel okay now let's see um, how does a bv panel junction box looks like okay so if we run this one like this if we go like this if you open the junction box of any panel any pv panel you will find that here like this you will find that we have one two and three diodes right we have one two three diodes usually you will find here two terminals you can see this here and here okay so you can see that here this one usually is a positive and this one is negative so how can i know this okay so this circuit is similar to the one which we discussed before we had three diodes and three strings okay so in this figure you can see we have the terminals here but which one is the positive and which one is the negative so how can i know this using the avometer so you will do something like this you will go here and take the red one which is representing the positive and the black one which is representing the negative so we will start adding this to this point and connecting this on this point like this okay okay you can see that the voltage here is 17.42 volt 
it means that this is actually the positive and this one is the negative okay we are connecting correctly okay so if this value is negative it means that we have the reverse it means that this one is the positive and this one is the negative okay so the red one is connected to the positive and uh, black one connected to negative if we done the cor uh, connection correctly then you will find it here positive if the uh, connection is wrong you will find it negative okay so as you can see we learned it here we have positive and the negative so what we are going to do we are going to, to add two indicators to help us know or remember that this one is a uh, positive one and the other one is a um, zero or the ground one or the negative terminal okay then what is the next step then we are going to to remove this and then we are going to add our uh, wires so as you can see here like this we have the two wires like this okay then we start connecting the um, red one with the red one and the black one with the black one okay you can see like this to uh, keep it in its place like this okay um take the red one and put it here like this okay so we will first uh, uh, like this yes we will see this one in the next lesson don't worry okay so let's move a little bit like this you can see we removed this part then we connected it to it the uh, red line so that we can fix it here okay like this as you can see then we are going to do the same thing for the ground one or the black one so as you can see we have this two are fixed okay we have the positive and negative of the then we close the uh, module like this and then we are completely done okay so as you can see here here as you can see connected here and connected here so in this lesson we learn it about the bv junction box and we learn it about the wiring of junction box